So first thing we need to do is pop the clutch cover off using a uh, eight millimeter socket on these eight millimeter bolts. So now we just need to remove the belt. You can do this using your uh, stock belt removal tool. I find it's easier to use a bar sometimes. Now that the belt's off, we can remove the secondary clutch using a 15 millimeter socket. Pulls right off. Now we just need to remove the clutch cover using 10 millimeter socket. So now is where you'd move, put in the primary spring and then swap out your weights. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the stock weights and put the uh, aftermarket Ibex clutch kit weights in using a 3 8 socket and an eighth inch Allen. So in your kit, you'll have your uh, primary spring and then the new Ibex clutch weights. Here's your magnets to go ahead and load it to whatever riding style you primarily do. So you just stick them in like that and load them. Once you have them loaded, we can go ahead and install the weight into your clutch. So now we're ready to go ahead and install the clutch weights. and then torque to factory specs. Okay, so next you'll go ahead and install your primary spring. And then when installing your clutch cover, there is an X that needs to be lined up with the X on the spider. And then torque to factory. Thank you. 
And you'll want to go ahead and take your secondary clutch and put it on your spring compression tool. In order to remove the helix. Using a T25, go ahead and loosen the helix bolts. Those last two all the way. Yeah. So, in your kit, you're going to have your new helix and your new secondary spring, and we're going to go ahead and install those now. So when installing your new helix, just make sure that the rollers go on the ramp side of the helix. There's a rough side here, make sure it doesn't line up on that, but that goes right here on the smooth side. And then use your spring compression tool. So go ahead and compress the spring down and tighten up the helix. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the secondary back on the machine. Sometimes it's easier to line up the splines if you put the uh, buggy in gear so it doesn't spin on you. Okay, and then can you get it over to Western? I mean, uh, no West? And then go ahead and tighten up the secondary bolt using a 15 millimeter socket and torque to spec. So when installing your belt, make sure that you can read the lettering. Some of these belts do have arrows. If they have arrows, make sure the arrows are pointing towards the front of the machine when this is on top of the clutch.